What's up, guys and gals? Mirror Mask here. We're gonna do a uh, a impressions video on the game Black Gold. Uh, yeah, Black Gold. I about said Black Desert, not to confuse it with Black Desert. Black Gold. Uh, it's put out by Snell Games. It's kind of a a steampunky MMORPG. I've played it a little bit. As you can see, I've already got a level 20 here and uh, a couple of level ones. Just placeholder names. But I'm gonna go ahead and go through the character creation and uh, show you guys some of the stuff. That it has to offer. You have a all right, a magic side and a I guess steampunk side. I'll go with uh, the steampunk side. You got many different classes to uh, choose from here, and you have two actual races. And depending on which race you have, some of the uh, I think the last three it looks like. Yeah, the last three classes are different depending on which race you go with. Um, we'll just go with... Mm, we'll go with Gunslinger. We'll just make a character with Gunslinger. Um, we'll just go with the default there. We'll just name it Mirror Test. Hmm, okay. Mirror Vid. There we go. Name our character Mirror Vid because it's a video about Mirror Mask. So it's fitting. Now, just for purposes, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to skip any um any cutscenes or anything like that if it'll let me because I don't want to run into any issues with YouTube and uh, content ID claims. <clears throat> but you do move around from um, what I remember playing up to level 20. You move around WS and D, use uh, your skills with the 1 through 6 keys and you can... Um, I haven't looked too in depth into the skill tree. I looked a little bit into it but Here's your skill tree right here with K. I'll let everything load up. And as you level up, you unlock these and then you build them in this little six slot thing, which is your six slots down here. So it's not like you have a big action bar like World of Warcraft or something where you have all your skills on there. It's kind of like the smaller action bar like you've seen in some of the other games like uh, Blade and Soul and Neverwinter and all that. It's like a six slot action bar. All right. This is a little tutorial thing. It's telling me to press W to move forward to go right here. Okay, that's fine. Can I skip this? No, I can't. Oh, this is probably going to get me claimed right here. Oh, well, we'll see. At least I have the audio off on these, so maybe that'll help. Maybe I won't get in any trouble on YouTube. Alright, so it's telling me to move forward and press one and two to use my skills All right. you do have dodge with double taps okay it's telling me to move forward with W now there are mechs and things like that in this game let's see you have uh, L's your quest log now, with your quest log, it's kind of like some of the other Asian style games to where you open your quest log. It doesn't work out of, I'll, I'll show you on my higher level character what I'm talking about in a second, but they have the uh, click through to move on the quest stuff, but it doesn't work in the side menu. I'll show you what I mean. Um, can I skip this one? No. Oh, these cutscenes are going to kill me, man. They're going to get my video kicked. Well, I guess maybe since I'm commentating over it and I do have the audio turned off on it, maybe that'll be my saving grace right there. But as you can see, there are mechs and stuff. And you do get your own mech pretty early on 
if you're on this side. And I assume you get a dragon or something if you're on the other side. Oh wow, I can skip the guy. No, let me skip that. Now what I'll actually do is I'll um now that I've showed you you know character creation stuff, I'm gonna hop off this character onto my higher level character and show you a little bit about uh some of the stuff. If it'll let me. I'm hitting the escape key. There we go. Back to character selection. Continue. All right, I'm playing uh my my high level character that I have right now, the highest one, level twenty, is um, a thaumaturge class. Thaumaturge class is kind of your summoner uh, class. I can kind of summon stuff to help me out here, such as oh, what is this? Such as this guy right here. I do when I first started playing, <clears throat> I did. These are like sign in bonuses and daily reward stuff and all this right here. Some of them are on timers. Some of them are based on how long you've been in the game. Some of them are based on how many days in a row you've logged in. But uh, back to what I was saying. I was, at first, very impressed with the graphics. But I will say this. like After staring at the game for a while, it almost looks like there's too much color in the color palette that they've decided to use like uh, right here there's so many different shades of brown and greens and grays and, and and oranges and all that right here that it's almost like too much you know what I mean like I, I'm not super impressed with that it's almost like I said it's almost like it's too much too much of a, a variety on the color here. All right, um, like I said earlier, use skills with your number keys and stuff. AOE skills. I got a bunch of AOE skills on this class. But sorry if the sounds a little low. I do have the music and, and sound effects turned down because I'm using a one computer setup now as opposed to where I had it before, to where I could individually adjust the volume levels of the game versus my uh, my actual computer but uh what i was going to show you in the quest log here oh first of all let me show you can i summon it yet yeah i think i can yeah see so here oh, let me hop out of here real quick so i can show you from the outside here is my personal mech right here that's my own personal mech you jump in it there we go, climbing in my mech. Alright, now you have third person view on the mech. You have first person view, and then you have sniper view on the mech. And now we'll go ahead and uh, hop out of here. It does take fuel to run the mech, and it burns fuel very rapidly. Go away. I can't get it to... There we go. Alright, and then you also have a uh, chopper. Everyone gets a chopper pretty early on. It doesn't look like a chopper. It looks more like a, I don't know, like a vacuum cleaner with wheels on it. But <laughs> or whatever. Anyway, to show you what I was going to show you, you hit L. <clears throat> like for this quest, for example, it's telling me I need to go to this guy. Well, see, it's telling me that up here. But if I click on it up here in the quest log, it doesn't, or not the quest log, in the, the side quest panel, it doesn't do anything. But if I click on it in here, it'll pathfind me and uh, take me there. Now that's something that's a little buggy because the game is just now coming out. It's a brand new game. So, you know, yeah, little things like this will get fixed over time. Um, the map, very impressed with the map. I really think the map is very detailed. I do like it. Um, this world is massive. Look at this. It's huge. And like, I'm just 
I'm this teeny tiny little dot right here on this massive world map. I do like that. I like that the map is so large because it does make me feel like there's a lot to do in this game. We're just letting it pathfind me right now. That way I don't have to run there. I can hands off approach it and have some tea or something. I wish more games would add this feature. I know it's a little hand holdy and stuff, but sometimes like if you got a long way to go, I wish they had, they give you the option to at least auto travel to you know long distances, whether it be through a click click to move pathfinding system or a click on where you need to go in the log, kind of like this system. Uh -oh. This is blinking. Claim some. Uh, Five minute reward, fifteen minute, forty five, and one hour reward. Okay. Uh, now, what key is it? R key. Yeah, the R key allows you to upgrade your mech. Um, I, I assume you can upgrade his armor, his weapons, and things like that. You can also exchange him for higher tiered mechs, I believe. But it costs uh, black gold to do any upgrades and stuff, and I don't have a whole lot of black gold just yet because I haven't been playing for that long. <clears throat> and you can also upgrade the skills as you're unlocking them and stuff. They get this green arrow on them. For example, these three right here can all be upgraded, and this one can be upgraded. Now I'm gonna, I'm not going to upgrade it just yet because I haven't spent enough time you know figuring out which skills I use the most and whatnot to upgrade so I'm gonna leave that be for right now the game runs relatively smooth um, it's still you know I mean you can tell it, it's fresh out of the gate as far as release goes but for the most part it runs very smooth the gameplay is very smooth. Um, skill animations are, are really good. I'm, I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, I may try to get a couple of friends into playing it as well. And um, I'll probably live stream this some too along with, I think lately I've kind of gotten the itch to live stream some Guild Wars too. But I may live stream uh, some Black Gold as well. I'll just have to double check on the NDA because it is technically still in beta so I'll have to double check on the NDA as far as live streaming goes but it shouldn't be a problem because I know I'm allowed to make videos on it and stuff so I would think if I'm allowed to make videos I could live stream it but you, know, you gotta double check these things sometimes alright and now there is like PvP and stuff in here and there is like mech versus mech PvP because I was actually in um, my mech one time just walking around trying to figure out how fast I burned fuel and stuff moving around and a guy came up and just killed me and he was like oh I'm sorry I didn't know I could kill other players it's like well I didn't think you could either out here in this world but I guess you can where's this got me going oh wow that's a long trip but see, I like that. Like the pathfinding is really good. It's not. It doesn't send you through like really dangerous. Uh, you know, some some of the, let me put it this way. Some of the pathfinding I've seen in some games is it'll route you right through the middle of a pack of aggro mobs, like aggressive red names, and they just like murder you right there. Pathfinding in this game so far seems to be really well put together, and it routes you. Pretty, pretty smart. I've seen it run me by a couple of red names before, but not like right through the center of them. I think there's some red names right up here. They're just going to run me by. But this is kind of just showing you guys what the land looks like, the different terrains and stuff. I went from a woody area to kind of a... Uh, you know, a dead, decayed kind of area. I don't know what they're building up there, that looks cool. Yep, here we go, here's some red names right here.
Yeah, that's not too bad. I mean, it only aggroed two of them. It could have been worse. Uh, the lesions pretty good in this game. They don't chase you for too long, which is good. Yeah, it didn't chase me that long at all. I do like the atmosphere in this game. Just the overall theme, the look. It it reminds me a lot of two games that I really enjoyed. Requiem Bloody Mare and Warhammer Online. Those kind of like dark meets steampunky kind of maybe a little bit of Forsaken World thrown in there. And we'll complete that quest. Except, uh oh, what is this? Oh, I get free gifts. Nice. Always good to get free stuff. And it gave me another quest. You simply just open your quest logs, tell me to go kill these guys. Wow, there's another guy running up here. What is he? What class is he? Some kind of caster class. Now, you can. You can manually go to these quests if you want to. I mean, you know, it, it shows you right here. It's telling me I gotta go kill this stuff right here. Now, eventually, I'm pretty sure they'll add the ability to, you know, click on these little things like this. But right now, you can't. The only way to run to them is you literally have to hit L, open the log, and click on it, and it'll pathfind you there. But I have uh, I have faith that in time all that stuff will be fixed, and you can pretty much click many different ways to get to a certain area. Okay, it's so wanting me to kill these guys. Yeah. So I'm hop off my bike. Where's my guy? Is he there? There he is. Now it, there is kind of free aiming um, to an extent. But um, it's it's almost like as soon as you hit them, then they become a primary target, and it locks onto them. So it's not exactly like I could just be shooting this guy and then run over here and point at this guy and fire. No, it would just fire back that way. So it's not true free aim, but as far as like right now, I could just start firing a skill, and it would um, shoot out forward, and whoever it tagged would come become a primary target. I don't know how many of these I gotta kill, but let's see if it'll tell me. Six. Pull this guy over here. The respawn rate is super fast in this game. Like it is amazing how fast it is. <clears throat> like you could really grind it out. Some big damage AOE we going on right now. Go ahead and loot all this up. There we go. Let's see. All right, I'm done with that, so we'll click on that now. If the distance is far enough, it will automatically load you up on your chopper when you go when you go to uh, use the pathing system. Which I like that. I like that. I like that it can determine whether or not it needs to mount you up as opposed to just run you there. I'm really curious to see what the PvP is going to be like in this game. What did I get here? Alright, now it's going to go tell me to kill some other stuff. But anyway, for the time being, let's look, look at some of the settings. There are a ton of settings in this game, guys. You've got video settings. 
right and then all the individual settings in there you've got sound settings all your sound settings you've got function settings all the settings in here you got social networking settings and all that stuff um, information settings all the little settings for all the information you've got key settings which are your key bindings and there's a lot of them there's a ton of them and then you've got operation settings then you've got well okay that's all the settings but inside of operation settings you've got uh, like that originally when you first create your character it'll ask you which mode you want and you'll you'll get through it through that setting to get back to it you have traditional mode and you have black gold mode this is just controls how you move your character around other than that I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up I don't want to make it too long it's already 21 minutes long so yeah I'm gonna stop it right there and um, I appreciate all you guys who made it to the end of the video. Make sure to check out my live stream, twitch.tv forward slash mirror mask live or hitbox.tv forward slash mirror mask. I kind of uh, jump back and forth between those, although Twitch is probably where I'm going to be streaming a lot more at these days. Um, make sure to ask any questions, leave any comments below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, if you enjoy the content and stuff. Uh, share the video. Let everybody know about Black Gold if you're interested. You know, share the video. Get your friends interested and stuff. Maybe have people to play with. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Uh, you guys take care and peace.